Hi, and welcome to Me and My House. In this video, we're gonna talk about children's running and children's running shoes. This is our daughter, Bailey. Her and I have been running together since she was a year and a half old. And we started off at eighth of a mile and quarter mile, one mile, till she was running five Ks, five miles, six miles. She's a super, super natural runner. When you watch her run, and we'll shoot some video of that too, you're gonna to see just how naturally she runs, how easily she runs. So we've gone always with the traditional running shoe because there are not a lot of options in children's running shoes other than just kind of a traditional thing, some heel padding, uh, really minimal forefoot, forefoot or ball of your foot padding, but basically the same kind of bare bones running shoe that you would see just for men and women as well. This is a Nike running shoe that she has put a tremendous amount of miles on and it's been a good shoe for her, it's lightweight. The heel cushion is, good, but that's not where she needs cushion when she's running. Bailey runs natural running style or barefoot running style where she runs on the ball of her foot. So her striking point is here, not here, which this shoe has very little ball of your foot or forefoot padding. So it doesn't really offer what we need for someone who runs natural or runs barefoot style running. And that's the way that I have learned how to run. That's the way that she runs. I think it's the best way to run, but there aren't many options to help you out. Um, so this shoe is what we had to get. It was the best that we could find until we came across Ultra. Now I've been running Ultra shoes for a really long time. Ultra running shoes, I think, are the best running shoe you can get if you want a zero drop. Meaning a shoe that doesn't have a padded heel, that your padding from the heel to your forefoot is the same. You don't have a really cushioned heel for those that are heel strikers. You have a padded shoe so when you forefoot strike or you barefoot run strike you got padding here this shoe so far Bailey's had what a couple runs on it that we've done it's a new shoe for her I'm not sure how long ultra has been making this shoe we just recently found this shoe available for sale and someone actually had it in stock in Bailey's size so we have gone this direction I hope we continue to find this shoe for her as her feet grow so this is the ultra one if you have children that run boys or girls and you want them to run natural running, which that's the way they probably run anyway until somebody teaches them to heel strike, which I think is a bad way to run. It's bad for your joints, bad for your ankles, your knees, your hips, but that's not what this video is really about. Um, but check out Ultra Running Shoes. They're the only company we found that makes a zero drop for children. Sizes are limited, availability is limited. I don't know if it's because the sales are low because there's not many people looking for this shoe or if they just have a new product line, I haven't really checked to see, but we were so happy when we found this in a size that fits Bailey. So Bailey's had a couple runs in these shoes, and what do you think so far, baby? Feel good. They feel good? Mm -hmm. So how's the cushion on the front of your foot where your foot hits the ground? Good. It's good? Okay. In one word, it's good. So we're gonna do a video today of her running. You'll see how naturally that she runs. But if you're looking for children's running shoes, natural running form, barefoot running form, you have children that do run, check out Ultra Running Shoes. We're not being sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. We just finally found a shoe for this runner. And then one thing before we go hit that run and show you that footage of Bailey running, one thing you'll notice on typical traditional running shoes is you have your toe box area. It's actually a toe point, and all your toes kind of get pushed together toward the middle. On the ultra running shoe, you have something that looks way more natural. It looks more like your foot, or your big toe is all the way down to your small toe, and it's a very wide toe box. So it doesn't take your toes and then push them all together. It allows them to sit where they normally would inside. So you can see a side by side. You can see how the Nike or a traditional running shoe points your feet kind of toward the middle, where the ultra lets your foot look naturally, where it just looks the way your foot looks when you're barefoot. And that's the whole style because wearing these kind of shoes for a lot of people, they get blisters between their toes. They get cramps in their feet. They get, um, what is it? Stress fractures on the bones because one, they're, they're striking their foot wrong and they end up having their toes all mushed up together in an unnatural way. So some people, when I first started running ultra shoes, they told me, oh, those look orthopedic. They look like orthopedic shoes. Are those running shoes? Well, yeah, they are. I don't care what they look like. I care what they do for my feet and for my running. So, once again, if your children run and you care about their feet and their joints and everything, check out a shoe that's really designed to fit their foot and their body.
All right, we stopped. We're about halfway point on today's run. We're just doing a short run today, just about two miles. And Bailey, how do you like your shoes today? Great. She's running really good, really natural, and her ultras are running super good. Uh, you can see in the video that her form is just so natural, so good, barefoot running style, which is what she was born with, which is super cool. And uh, we're gonna get back to our run now, but I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that the shoes really are a hit. They do make a big difference on how your body functions on a run, how you recover after a run, how your joints, your bones, and everything feel during and after a run. So if you have a little runner in your house, get the best shoe you can possibly get that works for their running style. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, wanted to encourage you, if you run or have children that run, it is super, super great quality time together. And what's really cool is to see this little girl get competitive with me and want to outrun me the pace up on me especially when we're going downhill <laughs> it's just really good father-daughter time mother-daughter time or with your son if you have a son just really good quality time together 